Hello and welcome back to the channel. Figured we'd do a little update as to where we are on the CJ5 project as well as we are going to be making our power steering lines today. Power steering pump is installed. It's a brand new unit with bracket, factory location. Have the headers installed on both sides. And we have our Sniper EFI throttle body and air cleaner assembly installed. I have the brackets painted up for the throttle, for the alternator. I'm still waiting for a bunch of parts to come in. PCV valve. Um, let's see, our temp sensors. So we're going to have two temp sensors on this, one for the gauge on the dash and one for the Holly uh, Sniper EFI system. But what we are going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make up our lines for our power steering box to our power steering pump. Now what I've chosen to do is use AN fittings. <clears throat> I'm going to use braided stainless steel PTFE high pressure hose for the high pressure side. And uh, I'm going to use rubber push lock hose for the low pressure side returning back to the reservoir. Just because I can't, predominantly because I can't get a fitting to fit this, whether it be a quick connect or anything of that nature, so it's easier just to go with the rubber hose and clamp it on and as if they do from the factory. So here's what we're gonna be using. We've got our rubber push lock PTF, uh, the rubber push lock hose, and then we've got our braided stainless steel Teflon uh, PTFE hose. This is gonna be our high pressure line these take special fittings, the PTFE and the push lock obviously takes a special fitting as well. I'm using 120 degree elbow on the steering box, which will allow me to choose my location, but it's going to bend it down toward the frame. It'll be above the coupler for the steering, for the um, steering shaft, and then we'll be able to come along the frame and secure it and bring our hoses up and into the back of the power steering pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up so we can show you how that's done. The push lock is pretty self-explanatory, literally. The barbed fitting just gets pushed in, but the PTFE Teflon hose is a little bit different, more, a little bit different. And the way we do that is we're going to go ahead and get set up and get the tools out so we can go ahead and get those pieces put in. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the push lock hose. It is the simplest. The barb fitting, we're just going to put a little lube on the barb. And literally, you're just going to push and twist it into place until it's fully seated inside the hose. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get that inserted. And then we'll be able to go ahead and mount it on the vehicle. All right, fitting is installed. So we're gonna go ahead and install this on the vehicle. Low pressure side is the one closest to the frame here. Now I like the uh, AN fittings over top of you know your standard fittings just because they're easy to, to work with. They're easy and clean, um, easy to take apart. A little hard to line up with just one hand, but once you get them threading on, and what's nice is then you can position them easily. And then we're gonna have to, obviously once we get the high pressure line in, we'll go ahead and we'll trim this accordingly and get this into position and then tighten it up down here. These fittings are a 6AN fitting, swivel fitting. And like I said, you're, you've got that, that angle to angle it down, bring it down along the frame. And then we'll be able to loop it up, keep it away from the header. All right, let's get started on the high pressure line. All right, so for assembling of the PTFE fitting, Teflon high pressure fitting, when you disassemble it, you'll see you got a ferrule, you got your locking cap. So when these go on to the hose, 
you can see, you can see there's a Teflon liner in there. You've got this braided steel. So you've got to push this, put the, drop this piece on first. And you got to open this up, get the ferrule in there, and then sandwich it all together. And then we've got a special tools for clamping it and holding it in place while you tighten it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in position, and then I'll come back and, and show you how we tighten that up. All right, so we've got our locking nut in place. We've got our bushing in place. As you can see, what you end up doing is you take the stainless steel and open it up a little bit. And then you push this down. You, I think you can just make out the, the Teflon. Let me see if I can get in a little better light here. You can just see the Teflon. It ends, ends up hitting a ridge that's in the side of that bushing. The next step that you're going to do is then take the fitting, fit it inside the Teflon, bring it down, bring these two together, and just go ahead and screw it tight. Okay, so the fitting is into the Teflon. Bushing is pushed and is it is definitely uh, seated right on the top of that Teflon ridge. Now we're going to bring these two together and start tightening it up. Now I usually put a little lube on these threads just to make it turn a little easier. I also put a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, piece that inserts into the uh, Teflon. Just makes it easier to slide it in. Okay. So I have that started. Now I have that clamped into place. Going to use a wrench to now go ahead and twist that in the rest of the way. All right, had to reposition my jaws there so that it was grabbing it better. Have the piece all the way installed. There we go. You can see there's a very, very, very slight space there. And this is a swivel fitting, so it'll move. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and um, do the other side. That this is the side that will be going onto the pump. This side's for on uh, mounting onto the power steering box. For mounting onto the power steering box, using a 90 degree fitting. And just like the, the one that we just installed, you have your lock nut. And then there is a brass ferrule in here. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and put those on. Same procedure. Slide the nut on first. Then we're going to take this tape off of here, open the stainless steel up. Get that brass ferrule to set right in there. As a matter of fact, let me show you the ridge. We can get in the light here and show it to you. I think you can just make out there's a ridge there right on the top. And that ends up sitting down onto the Teflon liner. All right, now that one is complete. So we're going to go over and set this up on the vehicle. All right, both lines are installed. We've got plenty of clearance, plenty of clearance for the steering shaft. We've got plenty of slack for allow for movement with the motor. That should be good. I did add clamps to these push locks. Obviously, this was clamped on to the back here, but I'm running these push. Um, excuse my finger there. I'm running my these push locks on my JK uh, on the low pressure side, and I don't have any clamps on that, and uh, have never ever blown a line going to the cooler and then back to the reservoir. So I think we'll be good here. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Um, the AN fittings I'm using and hoses are all from Red Horse Performance, as well as their tools. I've been very happy with all of their products. They make a great product. Um, everything's worked very well so far in any of the projects I've ever done with them. 
that's all for today. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe if we enjoy what we're doing here. Be back soon.